There's a guy down in the parking lot right now putting flyers on cars saying we buy cars. You gotta be kidding me. What's going what on? Happened? Are you trying to get business off my customers and putting flyers on their car? Yeah. Why? Mm -hmm. Why are you doing it? Well, I do it everywhere. Pack up to your put the flyers in your car, and get the off our parking lot. So look at I just found in somebody's car. No What does it say? We buy pawn, pawn tickets. tickets. Where's your pawn ticket? Right here. Let me see it. I'll go home back out of school. Let's see your pawn ticket. Let's see your buddy. pawn ticket. No, that's not my name. So, what are you ticket. doing with these tickets? You send me the ticket up for me. Bull. Never bring that truck here, and you're not getting that stuff. Get your ass out of here. Good day, folks. Today, we will show you how Hardcore Pawns Less Gold lost $330,000 to a scammer. My niece bought me some earrings from here. Oh, that was she nice. Bought them, uh, one of the diamonds was missing, and I wanted to know, can I get my money back? Do you have the receipt? Uh, no. Do the gifts come with a receipt? Yeah. No, well, this one didn't. We don't have the receipt. On the receipt, it says no cash refunds. One more problem that's really key to this whole thing. These are fake, and we don't sell fake jewelry. Excuse me, anybody buying any jewelry from here, don't get no more jewelry from hey. here, because this Hey. Your short ass no. gonna tell me. I think it's time to leave. I think it's time for the baby to, to get leave. fed. I'm not going nowhere. I bet you are. No, I bet I ain't. This is Joe. Joe. Wait a mother minute. I'll be back. I'll be back. Look. Baby, he need to go get fair right quick. Audemars Piguet watch. This guy, Andrew, comes into the shop with the Audemars Piguet watch. Hey, how you doing today? Pretty good. How about you? Good, I'm Les. I've got the uh, Audemars Pijou, and I was uh, trying to see if maybe I could sell. It's very rare that we see a brand of that caliber walk through the door, but here it was, right in front of me. Absolutely spectacular. Les knows it's really rare to see a watch like this walk through the door. How much did you want for it? And I'd like to try and get about 8000 It's a pretty watch. When can I put it on my wrist? Because there is no doubt about it. I'm owning it. Les ends up buying it for 5000 How about three grand? Oh, no, I can't go that low. No. How about six? 4000 You want to meet in the middle? I'll go 4500 No, I need to get the five out of it. Sorry. All right. 4600 right now. No, I can't do it. 4800 No, I appreciate it. Let me see it one more time. 5000 All right. Meet me at the window. Okay. Les comes to Ashley and Seth with what he thinks is one of the best deals he's ever got. Check this baby out. This is absolutely one of the best deals I ever got. Watch retails for $20. Thousand dollars. I looked at it. It's spectacular. Remember what you always said? If the deal's too good to be true, sometimes it is. Seth checks out the serial number, and there it is. There's ways of checking the watch. There's a new site on the internet, and you can actually do a little bit of research on it. So let me check it out real quick. Oh, what? Coming up counterfeit. It says do not purchase. It's a known counterfeit. Luckily, Les kept the guy's information and called him up. You said you had another watch. Can you bring it in today? I'm really interested. Perfect. Andrew, I'll see you then. Thanks. You mother coming into my store selling a that's not real. I ran the numbers and the serial numbers don't check. Here's the way it works. Give me my money back or go to jail. I didn't know they were fake. I mean, I'll give you your money back. You know, when it's too good to be true, it's yeah, too good to be probably. true. That was absolutely the best counterfeit watch I've ever seen in my life. Fake Gucci. Here comes a lady with a cute purse in her hands. She comes up to Ashley looking to sell it for $150. How are you? I'm doing okay. What can I help you with? Either trying to get a loan on it or you guys can buy it. Trying to sell it for maybe like 150 So Ashley offers 50 bucks and the lady starts getting a little bit mad. Says the certificate is inside and all. 50 bucks. Why is it $50? The certificate and everything is in there. Well, if you can tell, it's actually stained. I'm trying to sell it for 150 or get a loan. $75 instead of the 50 Yeah, I wasn't interested in more than 50 Then you know this is cost way more than this. Okay, but I'm not going to pay you for the amount that you think it's worth because it's stained. Ashley knows about purses. This is not one of the newer ones. This is not this season. I know about purses. Can I talk to somebody else? I'm going to talk to your pepperoni looking at. My pepperoni looking at. Can I talk store. to somebody nope. else? Ugly ass bitch. Can I talk to the owner? I'm the owner. You're now not what? the owner. The owner is the other man. You you must have. How you get here? You <laughs> your way to the top. Thank you. I guess the purse was oldie, but not goldy enough. Missing diamond earrings. There we have a lady come up to Ashley with a couple earrings that her niece gave her as a gift. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? My niece bought me some earrings from here. Oh, that was she nice. Them, uh, one of the diamonds was missing, and I wanted to know, can I get my money back? But guess what? No receipt. Do you have the receipt? Uh, no. Do the you... gifts come with a receipt? Yeah. No, well, this one didn't. So there's two problems here. We don't have the receipt. Second of all, on the receipt, it says no cash refunds. Funny thing is that these are fake, and here they don't sell fake jewelry. One more problem that's really key to this whole thing. These are fake, and we don't sell fake jewelry. Excuse me, anybody buying any jewelry from here, don't get no more jewelry from hey. here, because this 
hey, good. Hey, come on. I played this game before. I know this was a scam. It's time for her to leave. Y'all sure that no. gonna tell me. Are you angry because your coat's so tight? I think it's time to leave. I think it's time for the baby to get leave. fed. I'm not going nowhere. I bet you are. No, I bet I ain't. This is Joe. Joe. Wait a mother minute. I'll be back. I'll be back. Look, baby, he need to go get fed right quick. 1958 Parilla Greyhound. A couple guys waltz in with a 1958 Parilla Greyhound. Hi, guys. How you doing Hi. there? The 1958 Parilla Greyhound. Vintage motorcycles really hold their value. If we can buy it at the right price, there is no question I'm going to flip it for a good profit. The guy asks for four grand, and he stands by that four grand, but Les and Ashley have to do some research. So, how much did you want for this thing? I'm looking for 4,000. 4,000. 4,000. There's only known to be about a dozen in the country. So, realistically, how much? What would you really take for it? 4,000. Give me one minute. This is it. The same guy offering this bike online for only $2,500 and looking to scam them for 4,000. Holy sh that's him. It's the same one. Son of a b So, how much were you asking for it online? I took it off because nobody wanted to buy it. Don't come in lying to me and telling me that you got it out there for four grand and you're selling it already for 2,500. It's about the end of this deal right okay. now. Yeah, yeah, get it out. Have that's a good perfect. Day. Wristwatch. A guy comes up to Seth with his wristwatch for $5,000. I'm Seth. I'm Dwayne Wallace. How you doing? Nice to meet you. I have a watch here okay. that I'd like to have you check out, see sure. what you give me for it. How much are you looking for? I'd like to get about five grand for it. How much are they retail? Uh, they're anywhere between 7,500 and 9,500. But Seth's got to do some research because this brand isn't that popular. I've never even heard of this brand before. It's not very popular, huh? Well, it's up there with Rolex, so. Really? All right, give me a second. You ever hear of a Dumont uh, watch? Yeah, I have. Are they expensive? Yeah, they're okay. Five grand okay? No, no. No. I gotta do a search for it. It's from Clinton. You think it's the actual watch? I right think there? It's, it's it. It looks like it. What do they find but the exact same watch posted on Craigslist for $2,500? I see the same watch that you brought in with an ad on Craigslist for $2,500. So you're asking me for $5,000 for a watch that you're willing to take $2,500 for. Well, that gives us room to haggle. Haggle? 100% profit. You're insulting me. I'm not interested. I see him going for nine bucks on eBay. And out he went. Look at this. We have a guy gambling in a parking lot? You got a guy in the parking lot. He's got a sale game with the ball. And I put a hundred dollars down. He didn't even do the thing. He did. I turned around and he takes off. Really? Not on their watch. So there goes the whole family to confront this guy. Last, that guy's in the parking lot scamming your customers. A gambling guy? Let's go. Let's go, right, right Let's go see. He's right here. Son of a He's gone. I can only say the audacity of it all. Who's seen the little ball right now? That guy's back again. Gambling again in the parking lot. Son of a Let's go get him. Keep going. What are you doing? I ain't doing nothing. You were gambling in my parking lot. All I'm saying. What I'm saying is, I think we should call the police. You were gambling. You. Well, what you want me to do? Get the out of here and never come back. Free Xbox. There comes a guy with a whole story about his girlfriend pawning his Xbox in the shop. Hey, how you doing? Hi, how are you? My girlfriend, she came up here and she got rid of my Xbox 360 and I came up here to get it back. Okay, here's a ticket. Um, no. Ashley very politely tells him he can come back with a ticket, but he gets really upset. So uh, here's what you can I, do. I would like my 360. Okay, you, so you here's what like, you can do. No, you keep saying that, but I can't. So here's what you one, can do. One, no, you want to listen? Can, you can just give me my 360. No, I'm not just going to give you your well, 360. You okay. just need to give me my stuff. No. Got to be really honest, guys. It is not new to come up to the window and tell a story. This type of scam is old. So, like I was saying, can I just have no. my. Can I just have my. We can sell you another one. Well, let me just look for one that I want to grab. Okay, you go that way. Wait, right hey, here, sick, and I'll sell you one, no, and I'll sell it. you one for $200. No, I can grab one for free. Excuse me? Yeah, you, you heard. You can do what? Hey! Get him. Now! Hey! Get out of here. Get the f*** out. All right, I'll Get out of my face. Okay, nice and more. Bye. The hard drive. A guy comes up to the window saying he pawned his computer, but now he wants to get the hard drive back because he's got stuff in it. I pawned my computer. I want to come and get my hard drive for me. I got stuff on it. The rules are simple. If you pay the loan, you can have your stuff back. If you don't, you don't. When you get out of pawn, you can have it back. But all you got to do is go back there and just I grab it out. I know what we have to, to do, but once it's in pawn, my employees cannot go back there and touch it. That's stupid. For real, though, I need my hard drive, and I ain't leaving until I get it. Les is getting upset. Like I said before, this type of scam is old, and they all know how to deal with it. But I can't give it to you unless you take it out of pawn. You can't give my hard drive. I'm about to get pissed off. Told you, three. That's a bull dog. Listen, dog, if you I touch that. I don't care about what you're talking about right now. I want my hard drive. I'm not, I'm not leaving this window until I get my hard drive, dog. This guy understood why you don't come up to the window and try to scam. You'd only get yourself escorted out. What you talking about right now, dog? Can I have my hard drive? You can't. 
damn it. Stop swearing at me, mother You gonna try to be funny, dog? Yeah, you go. Ask. No. What's going on, dog? You gonna walk up to me like that, dog? I'm not going nowhere until I get my hard drive. Get my Seth, who let the dog out? Y'all my got me up. Get off me, dog. What? Fake receipt. This lady comes up to the counter already screaming and nobody knows what happened. $318 for this. Can I get some help? Is there anybody that can help me? What? Can you help me? So Les approaches to find out what's going on. What are you screaming about? I'm screaming because I brought a generator here. I took it home. It didn't work. You the manager? Do something about it. You're standing here looking at me like you're stupid. Oh, what you want to do, huh? You look sweet if you ask me. When Seth looks at the receipt, it's not even from the store, and that's not even his handwriting or signature. Ma'am, what happened? Oh, this is the nice guy that gave me the broke generator. Look at the receipt. There it is. Look that's at the receipt. That's not my handwriting. If you stop Period. screaming Period. and let me... Don't even talk to me. Ask this ass he has it. But there's only one thing to do when a customer comes raving and yelling. All right, come, um, on, come on, come on. No, oh, 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 come on, where are we going? Give me my receipt. F***ing ass. F***ing all y'all. Have a generator. Take the home and generate your I don't give a f Buying pawn tickets flyers. Rich catches someone putting flyers on every car window in Les's parking lot that say, we buy pawn tickets, get cash now. What the f is that? Hello. There's a guy down in the parking lot right now putting flyers on cars saying, we buy cars. Right now? Right now. You gotta be kidding me. What's going what on? Happened? They're trying to get business out of the shop customers. What are you doing in my parking lot? Are you trying to get business off my customers and putting flyers on their car? Yeah. Why? Mm -hmm. Did we tell you that was okay? No, I didn't ask nobody. Why are you doing it? Well, I do it everywhere. Les literally kicks this guy out of the parking lot and asks him to take off the flyers and take them with him. Pack up your Put the flyers in your car and get the f off our parking lot. Get all the flyers off the cars. Let me help you out. But it doesn't end there. Ashley finds another one that was actually in Les's car. So look at I just found in somebody's car. No What does it say? We buy, buy pawn, pawn tickets. tickets. And I actually got that one off your car. My car? Yep. Are you kidding me? Nope. What these guys do, they pay off interest, sell the item, and get profit out of the store. What the f It's not the same guy? Son of a b Bring your over here, mother. Let's go. Listen to what I'm saying to you. I ain't gotta listen to you saying. Yeah, something the you talking you. You too. Soon enough, someone reports the guy being in the store trying to redeem pawn tickets he bought from Les's customers in the parking lot. Where is Which it? guy? Where is he? Right here, the nice shirt on. This guy? Where's your pawn ticket? Right here. Let me see it. I'm going back out of Let's see your pawn ticket. Let's see your pawn ticket. Okay, my pawn ticket. Okay, let's see it. And sure enough, the tickets weren't his. Is this your name? No. No, that's not my name. So Buy what are you ticket. doing with these tickets? You send me the ticket up for you. Bull Never bring that truck here, and you're not getting that stuff. Get your out of here. We catch you on this property again. We're going to hand you your this is where we'll end our video. We hope you enjoyed watching. Make sure to comment, hit the like and subscribe buttons, hit that notification bell for more videos like this, and share this video with your family and your friends. See you soon.